good afternoon people or well, good morning depending where you are and what you're doing and what time well, more importantly what time it is um, I just thought I'd have a, another little stab at doing an actual sort of vlog thing I've done a couple and um, by my own low standards they're pretty shit um, but I'm gonna persevere for a little while um, I sort of like having a bit of a look through like the analytics you get on YouTube and for some reason I can't fathom of the whatever 20 or so videos of various types I've done the most popular one so far has been one that was called something like going to a dogging site or something like that which was accurate because we did go to a dogging site it was shit in terms of a vlog because the camera died halfway and all it is is us really riding there in the pitch black and having a bit of a look at a burnt out car but I think that says a lot about society today one word dogging and it's got like four times as many views as any other video I've done so I, I was thinking actually for a future video I might wait until it warms up somewhat is I'm actually going to go over there either with my mate or from Brave on my own and do a bit more of like an actual sort of low budget documentary on, on dogging see if I can actually find anything out um, when we went before I don't think I got it on camera um, the guy I went with he, he basically kept riding up to, to lone men in cars with his full beams on basically starting them so they looked like a rabbit in a headlight um, which is quite amusing at the time I mean the poor blokes I mean all they are is to you know they're a bit of harmless dogging I mean I, I don't even know what dogging is um, I used to think it was you, you know a couple would go there do it in their car and other people would sort of watch but I think it's a bit more of a sort of wife swapping -y type swinging arrangement but yeah I'm going to investigate and I'm going to do a video on that seems as it's the only thing people seem to be any interested in what I'm doing but for today's uh, I'm not doing it now obviously I don't think it's very busy during the middle of a freezing cold day but for today's video yeah I thought I would just have a moan about vlogging and vloggers and certain habits they have because I you know obviously I'm doing this I'm doing this because I'm you know interested in a lot of other vloggers I watch quite a f quite a few um, more than I care to admit if I'm honest and you know there's good ones and then there's shocking ones and I don't mean I mean I consider myself pretty shocking as in not very good at it or not very interesting or I don't put much time into it it's a bit of a almost a therapeutic exercise for me to go for a ride and talk to myself I just happen to share it but I'm talking about shocking as in ones actually make me kind of mildly angry but in the sort of way where I don't like them but I still subscribe and watch certain videos of theirs for certain things they do and they're all sort of based around the same theme so obviously the kind of I think he's number one in this country probably almost certainly is if not he should be is uh, RJ now he's not one I'm saying shit at all he does these videos, he's like observation I think he calls them, daily observations where he kind of I'm guessing he has his set up on, his camera set up all of the time he obviously works in London, he rides a hell of a lot and he picks up a lot of and I like the fact he calls them observations so just you know, you know interesting things, some of them are more interesting than others but yeah I watch almost every one of RJ's videos whether they're the observation ones or the his like little dance one he did the other day which was pretty cool, I, I do like them must take fucking ages to edit them the guy's got some commitment um, but you know there might just be you know a nice car he goes past or you know every now and again there'll be a bit of terrible driving you know or, you know just the random occurrences that we all sort of see on the road but obviously he picks up a hell of a lot more than than I ever would where I live and where I work I've got like a three mile commute but you got like all of these people trying to sort of jump on that bandwagon and they're in a sort of position to me so when I started doing this I thought oh I'll go for a ride see what I see 
if I find anything interesting I'll you know break them down to a little compilation video bang thank you you know 100,000 subscribers a couple of hundred thousand almost doing it for a living yeah not, not gonna happen um, but other people try this and they realize that they're probably similar to me and they don't really pick up anything because you know I don't know how many miles I would have to ride Thank how many miles I would have to ride I mean that's mildly interesting how polite were they um, to actually you know per mildly interesting thing let alone like the proper one it's, it's a lot you'd have to ride a hell of a lot to make those videos and I think RJ does and some other people legitimately do and it's, you know and if you're riding through the city of London you're, you're sorted um, if you're doing, if you're doing a heavy mileage through London on a daily basis you're going to pick up a lot of stuff um, what I hate is these Muppets that sort of, you know, they think they can do it, they can't, and they borderline create incidents. Um, and you, you know these people because almost all of their incidents will be based on what they perceive as bad driving by other people. I don't know, I'm probably not going to name names of certain vloggers, I may do it at some point. Um, there's a number of them that really get at me, and they are awful riders. And I'm not speaking to somebody who's very good or amazingly, uh, you know, experienced or any of that stuff. I'm not. I've been riding a year. I'm still scared shitless of the bike and I sort of intend to stay that way for, for my own safety. Um, but these people, they ride and then they're, they're, they're kind of overly aggressive, constantly swearing at other drivers for, quite frankly, minor indiscretions that they should have had the skills of a motorcyclist and the person at the greatest point of risk to identify and not get themselves in that position. Drivers and motorcyclists are always going to mistake, make mistakes at all times but you can utterly mitigate them to the point of you hardly ever you know, come across a, a, a sort of a near miss scenario. I mean I've, I've been riding a year, I've maybe had two and, and I openly admit both of them I could have avoided had I been paying full attention um, and you know doing all the checks and stuff like that that I should have done and both of them I wasn't daydreaming but I just I was in sort of like sort of in casual mode so you know sometimes you're riding and you're fully alert I mean I'm probably in casual mode right now because my attention is half concentrated on what I'm saying whereas I could just switch that part of my brain off dedicate as much as possible to the um, to the road ahead of me and I'll probably be slightly you know more alert I've forgotten where I come from but these people they ride around they ride always ride quite aggressively you know like for example this road here they, I don't I think there is a junction coming a road on the side here coming up but you know if I didn't know this road there we are you know, you'd ride assuming that junction's there and assuming that a car's going to pull out on you. You know, 95 times out of 100, there won't be anything there at all. And out of the other five, you know, only a tiny percentage would actually be a car that's going to pull out and not see you. But you've always got to base it on that. And you see these people, they're riding around roads in the middle of the road where there's cars blocking their view and they're riding as if, like, nothing's going to happen. And when a car does stick its nose out or... You know, I just creep forward, suddenly they're into like the whole volley of abuse. Um, as if they've just had their parents shot in front of them. Um, and they really annoy me. You know, they're all the, the really overly animated riders that are just trying to create content by creating shit. And they're the sort of people that I really hope sort of one day get their comeuppance that they do it to the wrong person and the person gets out of the car and fucking knocks them flying um, I'm all for the, the biking brotherhood but when there's cunts on the uh, motorcycle fucking treat them as such um, on a very similar vein so this is one of these like things that really annoy me they're all based around that sort of overly aggressive rider um, or vlogger and riders I mean this isn't just down to vloggers it's you get overly aggressive you know standard riders who don't bother filming what they do they're just as big assholes but the ones that are sort of like feel, feel see themselves like the warriors of the road or the police force of the road 
and they need to, you know, if they see somebody on the phone, they're the ones riding up next to them at like 60 miles an hour, doing the phone signal with their hands like that, you know, I can see what you're doing. And, oh, you know, I, I don't agree with obviously using your phone whilst driving, but some of these people utterly piss me off. They, you know, there is an argument that the drivers on the phone sort of do put our lives at risk. So I can kind of sort of see why, but it's it's the over the top ones that kind of put themselves in danger or create a massive situation or a massive like bit of drama for their just just for a video. And I yeah, pisses me off. For example, the best example is ones that. You know, I know you shouldn't use your phone at any point whilst in control of a vehicle. But if you're sat there at traffic lights, I know you shouldn't do it. But seriously, does anyone... The worst that's going to happen is you the lights go green and you sat there and you look like a muppet using your phone. Really, the chances of anything more serious than that happening are... They're there, but they're minuscule. Um, and you get these people like just right up to them and like you know doing that fucking symbol in their hand that they're on a phone or put the phone down oh what utter cunts oh, I feel much better now much much better oh and the third one is what they kind of it goes for both of those and it, it can be used in conjunction or in terms of other incidents that people film when they point to their fucking camera have you have you ever seen anyone be more of a prick than when something happens or they're having an argument with somebody that they've probably, you know, more times than not created themselves and they start pointing to their camera oh my god I am not kind of like what you consider an alpha male at all, but if, it, if I ever felt so I don't know, diminished as a human being or a man that I, I felt the need to point to the camera with a smug look on my face well, I've got you mate, yeah you're in trouble now you carry on swearing at me because I've got a camera I, I, I would put my head in a bucket of raw sewage and drown myself I really would, I can't stand those people cameras, you know, cameras can be used for two things obviously vlogging and you know, and for genuine accidents for insurance you know, I always thought if I get killed on a bike, I'd, and it's not my fault, which, you know, it can be, maybe, my fault. I will, um, I'll at least like the bastard to kind of get put down for it. But yeah, that's my little whinge about certain types of vloggers, but I, I openly admit I keep watching these people. I think there was a guy, um, the infamous biker, he's not one of these people, but he he had a little rant on a, a similar kind of similar kind of topic. I think he may have just been one of those things. And I think I replied to one of his videos and said that like, I, I basically love watching the Battle of the Morons, because you, that's what it is, you get a driver making a silly little mistake and then a motorcyclist overreacting usually to, because they're on camera um, I mean, another little instance there with the car pulled up I've seen people that would have actually just, you know, been turning around swearing at the guy because he kind of approached the junction a touch quick I mean, I never felt in any danger, I saw him looking at me but I, I've literally seen things like that and it, oh Battle of the Morons. Bye.